Hello everyone and in this video I'm going to show you how to compile C and C++ files with Windows 10. So to get started you need to create a folder on your desktop. I've called it compile and inside this I've got a main.c file and a main.cpp file. So the C file, basically the .c is letting Windows 10 know that you're using or you want to use the C extension which makes it a C file same principle for the CPP file so the CPP extension is for C++ hence PP for++ plus plus. Um, you can open these inside a text editing software so for example even notepad I'm using brackets though because I use this for like web development and stuff so inside the main.c file I have some C code that will actually print out hello world. So pause the video and copy this. It'll all be in the description anyway. But make sure you get the correct code for the correct file. So this is for the C. So make sure you're saving this inside the main.c file. Next is the main.cpp which is C++. So pause the video and copy this code. It does the same as the C file. It will just print out hello world. You can add some extra um, string here so you can tell the difference from I'll put from C++ so we can distinguish a difference when we execute the files next you need to go to your internet browser of choice go to this website and once you're on this web page what you want to do is you want to look for the subtitle graphical user interface installer and just click on this min gw hyphen get hyphen setup dot exe once you click on this, it'll send you to a sourceforge.net download manager and it'll download after, after five seconds. Once it's downloaded, you can go to the bottom here, especially on, uh, well, for Google Chrome anyway, the downloads appear at the bottom. Just click on the setup, run the setup. You can close out of the browser now. I'm going to minimize the IDE as well. Just click install leave everything the same do not touch anything or manipulate anything you can change the installation deck directory of course if you want if you have multiple hard drives but for the sake of this video i'm just going to keep it the same click continue and it should start downloading now it's going to download 113 packages i believe or items so it's not going to take too long the net the next download is the longest so I'm not going to skip this. It's only going to take uh, a few seconds. Now, I do believe this depends on your system, but I've got quite a good build, so this shouldn't take too long. There we go. 113 items processed. You can just click continue. Then the installation manager pops up. As you, as you can see now, there is separate packages. So we want to install all of them. You can just get the G++ if you just want C++, but for the sake of the video again, like I said, I'm just going to install everything because we want C and C++. So I recommend you just click Mark for Installation on all of them. So just left click on the box and then left click uh, Mark for Installation. It might freeze after you click the first one. Just give it a second and it will unfreeze. Then click Mark for Installation, Mark for Installation and Mark for Installation. Then go to the Installation tab up here and click Apply Changes. Then click Apply. Now this window will pop up and this is this part is the longest so I'm going to skip the video and I will see you once the download has completed. So now that the installation is completed you should see a dialog like this. It says all changes were applied successfully. You may now close this dialog so you can just click close and the little boxes should go green so that's just letting you know that the installations were successful and without any errors. So you can close out of the installation manager now and the next thing you need to do is go to the directory of the mingw folder. So this will be located inside the installation uh, path that you gave it. At the start I left it everything the same if you remember in that little box. So it's inside my C directory and it's the mingw folder. Then go inside the bin. So just leave this window open now. We'll come back to this later. Next, go to the system. So go to system or type system, go to control panel system. I believe the correct path for that is control panel system and security and then system. So basically what we're doing here now is adding this application to our systems path. So if we go to advanced system settings, 
environment variables and then double click on the path inside the window of the system variables double click you should have some options here to add new environment variables so what we want to do is we want to click on new and go back to this window inside the address bar you want to just click once and it should highlight blue it shouldn't be that long it should be just c and then min gw and then bin i'm just going to copy that now go back to this window click new and paste it just click anywhere in here and then just click ok so just make sure it adds correctly and then just click ok click ok again click ok and you can close out of this window now next what we want to do is we want to actually start compiling the files so inside this we're going to actually run and compile these and create executables of them so to do so we need command prompts do not open it in administration because you have to go through more directories it's just easy if you just click on it and it's inside your users account so the next thing you can do is we need to actually go inside the directory of the compile folder so to do so we want to do cd desktop uh, sorry you should click tab if you do half of it and click tab it should auto complete it click enter so now it goes inside the desktop now we want to cd into the compile file or folder should say click enter and now we're inside the compile so once we're inside here you can type dir and click enter and basically dir will show everything that's inside the root directory so as you can see here main.c and main.cpp that's exactly what we want to because now we can manipulate these files so to manipulate these files what you need to do is in fact just close out of the bin but make sure you leave the compile or whatever folder you've left up with the main.c and main.cpp files in it because we can actually see the applications being compiled and then the executables so the outputs to do so we're going to start with the main.c so the c file so what you want to do is you want to type gcc space hyphen o the letter o not zero and then the next one is the name of the executable so we'll just for simplicity we'll just say c.exe and then main.c so basically the output and then the input think of it like that so the input is the main.c we're compiling it so the output will be c.exe click enter you might need to click enter twice now this shows an error but don't worry because as you can see inside your compile folder or inside my compile folder as you can see there's a um, an application an executable called c which is exactly what we called it here now to run this all you need to do is c.exe click enter and as you can see it says hello world now to do it for this c++ all you need to do is g++ it's very similar to the other one a hyphen the letter o space and then we'll call this one cpp.exe and then main.cpp so once you've done that you can click enter there's a new line created with it's just blank and inside the compile folder there's a new application called cpp so to run that all you need to do is cpp.exe click enter and as you can see it says hello world from cpp or from c++ it's a habit of saying tpp but there you go that's how to compile c and c++ hopefully this did help you please leave a like a comment